Hey everyone, my name is Amanda Graffio and I'm the Registered Dietitian at the Women's Health Center at Jamaica Hospital. I'm here today to talk about nutrition during pregnancy. Your nutrition during your pregnancy is the most important time. Consuming a healthy and balanced diet will help you and the baby to obtain essential nutrients that you both need. Your weight in the beginning of pregnancy and the way that you're, you eat affects your total weight throughout your pregnancy. You're eating for two because everything that you eat does affect not only you, but the baby. However, remember that you're not eating double. You only need about 300 to 400 calories in your second and third trimesters. You can increase your calories by adding two to three snacks a day between your meals. Try adding yogurt with granola and fruits, protein bars, or whole wheat sliced bread with avocado or almond and peanut butters. Hydration. It's also very important. Try to drink about 8 to 10 cups of water daily. You can include one cup of 100% fruit juice a day and also flavored seltzer waters. Try to consume minimal amounts of drinks that have a lot of sugar, such as sodas and iced teas. This can affect not only your weight, but increase the risk of gestational diabetes. Protein is also very important, especially for the growth of the baby and the brain development. Protein-rich foods can be found in lean meats, chicken, turkey, pork, and fish. If you don't consume meat, that's not a problem. You can get your protein from beans, lentils, walnuts, seeds, almond or peanut butters, cooked eggs, and low-fat cheeses. The vitamins and minerals that you need in higher amounts during pregnancy are folic acid, calcium, vitamin D, iron, and omega-3 fatty acids. You could find these in prenatal vitamins. However, you do need to obtain them from nutritious foods, which will help absorb in your body better. Folic acid will help with the brain and spinal cord development of your baby. You can get these, this mineral from lentils, chickpeas, asparagus, spinach, broccoli, and fortified cereals, such as oatmeal. Calcium and vitamin D will help to develop your baby's bones and teeth. You will find these in low-fat dairy products, such as yogurt, cheeses, milk. You'll also find them in white beans, salmon, and fortified almond milk. Iron. Your body needs double the amount of iron than a non-pregnant woman. This will help to produce more blood to supply oxygen to your baby. You will find this in red meat, chicken with the skin, pork, lentils, beans, spinach, dry fruits such as raisins and prunes, and fortified cereals. Omega-3 fatty acids, especially during the last three months of pregnancy, is vital for your baby's brain and eye development. Try to consume this nutrient every day so you can find this in fatty fish, like salmon, green leafy veggie, veggies such as broccoli, spinach, kale, walnuts, and ground flax seeds. Try to cook all these foods by baking, grilling, steaming, roasting, and boiling instead of frying. And finally, the nutrients that you should limit or avoid are alcohol, caffeine in excess, as well as herbal teas such as green and black tea, meats, fish, poultry, and eggs raw or minimally cooked, Fish high in mercury, such as shark, tilefish, mackerel, sardines, should be limited. Try to limit all fish, including tuna and shellfish, to about 12 ounces a week, which is no more than three servings. Tuna should be light albacore instead of white in the can to reduce the mercury content. Hot dogs, cured, and deli meats should be cooked until steamed and well cooked to avoid a potential bacteria called listeria. So that's everything. Good luck during this pregnancy, and I hope to see you all at the clinic. Take care.